number three. Here's the countdown. Seven, Seven six, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the horn sounds. Looks like we have Hassan and Will Neff beginning our chip oh, shot, Sancho. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Sancho. Oh, my goodness, bro. <laughs> Hassan just cleared the table, baby, with that jump. That is that is unreal. Again, he just sweeps a ton of the chips off the top. He has to put them back in the pit and putting them towards the end of the pit, not a great idea. You have to wade through these blocks to get those chips now. It's an ex expenditure of energy. Remember, bigger bodies, more energy burn trying to get this job done. I can guarantee you that he didn't even consider that. He just tried to get them back in the foam pits. They could grab them, but you're right. That's going to make the jump a little bit farther and take a lot more time. You can see how hard it is for him to get out already. All right, there it is. Great so, jump. Yeah, so not only has Will gotten back into the pit to grab that chip, but he's not the last one in there as well. So these two, I mean, why goes Larry and Curly going at it now, but again, only one oh, can be in the pit at one time. Okay, so. Dro also drop a one in chat if you know who Larry and Curly are. <laughs> yeah, it's a kind of <laughs> reference. Oh, I'm only 30 to be fair. That wasn't even on when I was young. I don't know where I got that from. I'm gonna get that too. Forgive me. Uh, okay, looks like their time is up. So there are chips still in the pool. Yeah, I was there just was. looking at that. Oh, is, it, or is, is their time not up? I, my oh, they got about the they got 20 from. seconds here, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, son. 15 now. Uh, still plenty of time, I think they should be able to come in. Oh my, I mean, look, I loved it. They create the padding as they knock the foam out. They are just so sacrificing can... their bodies yeah, to that the is ultimate just, challenge at this point. That is putting it all on the line, isn't it? Looks is that like all they... from Sancho? <laughs> <laughs> look, Sancho, why is everybody so winded at the end? I'm telling you, it is in, it's intense. I mean, they're going all out. I mean, I got to get a quick interview you here with Hassan, right? My man, you win and you cleared out all the chips in almost two jumps. Yeah, uh, that was a problem, though. Unfortunately, weight is a big issue in this game. When you jump in, look at the amount of, you know, little <laughs> things that we have flying around. So when I cleared it in, unfortunately, we had to dive in for some of the pieces. I think we left the one chip in there, but now it's all about RNG, baby. All about the RNG and Hassan, no doubt. Are you going to be taking these putts right now, or is it going to be Will now? No. Will is an expert golfer. They call me PGA Patrick. We're going to make it do what it do. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to let Go Hassan catch his breath here. Good luck, okay. gentlemen. We got this. They got this here. It, I'm telling you, I'm just loving the passion and the creativity when it comes down to this. But here, it's going to be all about the skill. And Uber, that has been so far the determining factor about matching out those points. Yeah, no doubt about it. I, Hassan mentions the RNG, but you could limit that, I guess, by you know mm -hmm. using tactics like we saw from replays earlier on. Sure. I don't know if these two have thought about it. Again, Will fancies himself a bit of a golfer glitter. See, then this is what I was talking about. The players, I think, are so involved in their events, they're not paying attention to what's going on around them because people could have seen the strategy that we saw Nick in replays what use on any of the other ones. <laughs> Shoes. 100 Thieves sucks on, all right. Nice. Now, they have 14 golf balls, folks, 14. Wow. Because they lost that one chip when that scrum. I mean, Uber, you nailed it right on the head, and Hassan said it himself. Yeah, I mean, returning, he, he, was, he wasn't really mindful about how he returned those chips to the big So here it is. All's going to set up, and we are going to oh, oh, this is the dog-dog hafu technique. We like it. Okay, not quite, yeah, not quite where he wanted the ball, though. Wait, hold on. PGA Patrick particular. is going to be picky, okay? Uh, the clubs are all the same. He's going to choose to go with the uh, four iron yeah, for the putt. Quite the uh, astute <laughs> selection, I must say. Nice. Okay, the technique is solid. And, man, he's got the velocity dead pat. He's that was a three. Dropping in. Sato, are any of these fives? Not yet. A bunch of threes and ones. There's the first five. The first five just went through. I mean, again... We've seen teams try and go for speed and get as many balls as they can, and they've, they've missed them. Some have just gone straight off the track. So this is great from PGA Patrick, if I may. Another five. Another five just okay. hit. You know, honestly, as long as you can even just limit your ones, if it's threes, a lot of threes, that's still useful. Well, we, we're, seeing, we're seeing scores range from 10 to you know, the high 30s here, so you're you dead right. Come on, dude! <laughs> Sancho, what's going on? Another dress, yes. RNG, RNG. Let's go ahead and get the reaction here. How's it feel? Feels like fucking terrible. Sorry, I shouldn't be cursing. Feels awful. Uh, but what are you gonna do? In the end, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes it's the luck of the draw. 
It's Patrick PGA here, folks. Today we lost to RN Jesus. We got a proud Muslim man today. That's, uh, that's what I think happened. Yeah, Allah's not on my side on this one. What's going on? Uh, anyway, that's all I got. That's all he got. So let's go ahead and see how much points they got. Actually, 25 points. They've been a little bit too hard on themselves. And they got at least a middle of the pack. Middle of the pack. 25 was good for second place in that mm -hmm. second round here on Chip Shop. Yes, yeah, so good, now. A good, good number. Good number. It'll be, you know, it, it, the thing that they didn't do was miss a single shot. So True. getting them all in, True. we saw plenty of people sending, eating their balls over the edges. It was a good one there. But um, I hear we have a new record on low rollers here. Really? And uh, this is the Verizon player checkpoint where we're checking in with Veli, who's standing by with our new record holder. What's going on right now? Okay, we have Kade and Tins, the new champions for low rollers. Tins, all you do is win, 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 no matter what. When it comes to Valorant, when it comes to this, how easy was it? It was pretty easy. I don't even drive, but I mean, we got the top score, so I got carried by Kaide. It feels good, man. Kaide. I mean, you were in your group. You were zooming around that track. Do you think anyone's going to top you after that? Hell no. No, we, we got go. this. It's easy. The, the cockiness, I love it. They're perfect. They're excellent. There it goes, and let's send this back over to Wave Punk. I don't think anybody's going to beat him. Look, he's wearing a Kilwa shirt. He's got the god speed. He doesn't need to know how to drive. It's a it's a cart. It's fine. <laughs> I love me some Hunter X Hunter merch, yeah. I mean, great combo there. I mean, Tens is like, yo, I don't even drive, fam. You know what I mean? I just yeah. hit the road, the rubber, hit the track, and uh, yeah, it carried me forward. No, great performance there. And again, like, it's, it's a little bit hard to build up speed because the harder you pump, the more likely yeah. you are to just careen to a wall or something like that. So it's yeah. kind of hard to find a happy <laughs> medium, Caleb. I, I Definitely hit a wall yesterday. Don't <laughs> want to talk about it. It's fine. We can show you guys um, the rotation graphic, I believe, of where everybody is here in round three. Because again, all the teams so put in groups of four and then put at different stations. So if you're wondering where a specific streamer is, if you're excited to watch, you know, Tyler and Michaela do uh, sticky wall. Well, hey, yeah, that's, that's that's where they're at. that's where they're at. So go go check it out here. We got um, Hassan and Wolf just completed chip shot. We it looks like Nick and Melina are gonna be going next there. Um, or maybe it's Soda Pop and Russell. It looks like Soda Pop and Russell are the next two actually on the wall. So this is where everybody's at, Glitter. Uh, honestly, new round, new opportunity for points. Anybody that's had a bad previous round needs to brush it off. I'm really excited to see what Tyler and Michaela can do on Sticky Well. But now we're checking in with Soda Pop and Russell. Now, Soda Pop and had uh, some, some Lots of confidence, big words coming in today, and we've seen some lower scores than I think you would have liked. That was a little cheeky, though. Soda Poppin actually goes back down to grab a chip from the pool and pull it out. That might be a penalty in Kern there. Both of them also in, yeah. We're, we're in a Kern penalty. This is, um, uh, this is messy, to say the least. Shooter shambles. I mean, hmm, not about that one either. No cheating allowed. Oh, they're just, they're just, they're just throwing it back in. Desperate for court. Sancho, what is happening? You see Russell just coming in and soda popping, but this kind of chaoticness has just caused a, just kind of a mess down here. I'm in. They have to get it on the punting green to count, and because they did it, it's still now back into play. Do we see any rules infractions there, Sancho? Because I'm pretty sure I saw uh, Chance grab one of the, the, the chips from inside the, the pool while he was outside and put it on the green. Uh, you know, I'm just going to leave it up to the admins. All right. That's how wild <laughs> it is out here. We have a Absolutely mental here. We have a new winner again. All right, we've got another chip out. Russell extricates himself gracefully, of course. They're starting to look up. pretty gassed. All right, it looks like oh, here's the four shot. We got four different actions going on, but oh, Michaela and Tyler on the sticky wall. Honestly, Michaela, from what we saw in that brief moment, looked like she was having some solid throws on to Tyler. Again, I, I'm pretty sure this couple are pretty good at this. Uh, throwing things at one another. <laughs> Spend enough time around, you realize, uh, this yeah, this is, is this is absolutely in their wheelhouse. Look at the speed. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, that was good. All right, but can he get high? Can he get the leaps? That's all the balls this there. Is, this is all yep. about the multiplier. Vertical jump, this guy. Uh, uh, uh. Get your feet over the lines. Anything less than uh, 3x is ridiculous. There it is. Fantastic. Look at that. Thing. <laughs> and now the score. You blew it. That, was that, so that, that seemed good. pretty good. What was, that was so good. Is he disappointed? About? He just told Michaela that she blew it. 
48. 48 points. 48 is so good. I don't think that's good enough for this pair. I don't know. I don't know. Necra, can we can we get a, can we get some thoughts from the team on how that went? All right, we're gonna go ahead and talk to Tyler one right now. You're just getting off the bouncer. Oh, yeah. That was really tough, especially because at the very beginning it looked like those balls were going a little bit too low, a yeah. little bit too far. What was going on? Well, my partner is was a former D2 athlete. You know collegiate. It's been a couple years. We're getting a little bit older up in age. So she was a bit rusty. After she got that thrown motion up in there, she was starting to zing them though. And it, we ended up catching back up. Hold on, Michaela, you got to come over here. I, I need you to answer and respond to this right now. About 5% of First of people. all, I'm a center fielder for softball. Let's get this straight. This ball, these balls should not be behind me. That was effing hard. Okay. It should have been like to the side and I could have just. I'm telling you, your throws were even worse than they look, but I made them look good. Stop! We're on camera. Stop sorry. it. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, no, he's coping. Um, we did I, good, though. I think it was good. I think it was We're good. a good pair. She started zinging him at the end. Ding, 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 ding. Yep, yep. It paid off. I mean, yeah, right at the end there, you were you were hitting those balls super, super fast, and you were able to get a ton of points. So how, what are you kind of feeling going into the latter half of the day? Let me talk about this, first of all. We have the two of the, including me, we have three of the top four teams in the tournament in our group. Yeah. We got Nikki over here. I swear they're cheating. I don't know what's happening. Miss Tryharding, he's practicing. Him and his group are practicing five, yeah, 15 minutes before any group even starts. So, I mean, I'm really confident in myself, and and myself, um, hopefully it pays off. You griefed us in two games today. This man said he had 195 IQ during the puzzle. The puzzle was he, hard. He wanted to do the puzzle all morning. He said, I'm smarter, I got it. The Gave puzzle, up. no, F we were set up to fail on the puzzle. It was like no, eight different, you, no, yeah. we'll be fine. We're fine, we're fine. Yeah. You, you guys are gonna do a fantastic job. Good luck on the final challenge of the day. Why don't you go get some hard earned rest as we go ahead and take a look at what's happening around the arena. Back to you, Caleb. Oh, that, that might be my favorite part of the day right now. <laughs> I uh, that was that was amazing. I don't know why I expected any different from those <laughs> two, unreal. I, 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 I didn't think, I, I'm I sorry, it. I'm sorry, but you are six foot five. You're a large target and you're not catching enough balls, Tyler. That's on you. That, that is, come on, you, you, got, you got the surface area, but the wingspan to catch them all there. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at the standings, I believe, after uh, so we're just where we're at right now, okay, to give you an idea. Here we got, we got and there, again, there will be one redo in the middle of this, so right. we will see um, some movement from Lulu Lovely and Hannah Rose's teams, I believe, as obviously, they're their times, given that they kind of got a little bit sabotaged by the map, they'll be uh, they'll be they'll be javalting up the leaderboard a bit. But we can take a look at the scores overall. Where yep, people I at? told you guys. Oh my goodness. That is a first place, a second place, and then a first place uh, <laughs> out of those events. How Let's... good are they at driving, though? Well, it's... apparently you don't have to be. Apparently if you don't have to drive. <laughs> yeah. This is what the ten, ten doesn't drive, and he's gonna go the fastest time right now. Puns and foolish game are gonna be in second by six points, and then another four points down to tens. There, moving on to the bottom of the leaderboard, XQC. Adept of a, a they, they, they promised us big results, but right now bringing up the caboose. Only only two events. Only they've, two events. They've recorded scores only two for events. right now. Right. So uh, again, they'll probably you know shoot their way up a little bit, but it's it's an unconvincing start for that pair. I do also want to point out here, looking at the second page, we don't see uh, Lulu Lovely squad there, which means that even despite their their um, unofficial their bad time in Blockbuster, which they're going to get to a they improve on here, yeah. their score is going to vault up. So that team in a really good spot right now. Excited to see where Anna Rosa's squad is after the redo as well. Yeah, and honestly, I feel like after we see a little bit more movement, when we're able to finally see the scores before we head into the last round, that's when the pressure is really going to turn on for a lot of these squads because they're going to know exactly what they have to do in their final group rotation. So again, we mentioned that XQC and Adept were struggling a little bit here. You can see morale still decent, but Adept is very persuasive in her methods, clearly. Pretty even as well. A little bit too picante on that wind-up from XQC. Really, it's about that subtlety in connecting. You know, Adept was the one that was pretty um, adamant that their performance needed to kind of oh, level yeah. up as well. She was really pushing XQC to be better. And that was a solid hit from her, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, uh, Felix looking on, saying, all right, well, perhaps Thunder being stolen here, but it is a team game. Some of those balls are going to have to be retrieved in a moment as well. You can see that Fusley doing just that. Anthony Z looking to try and clean Ooh. up here. I'm telling you, the lower it is, those are the harder ones to get. Once, like the top of the card is easy peasy. The last corner one's yeah. not so much. I think we saw Cypher and Lucky that were able to knock out some of the bottom of their mm -hmm. card early. And obviously that just, you know, compromised the structural integrity exactly. of their card so that even Ooh. high shots were going to knock it over. 
Pretty decent stuff here, but again, this is definitely the hardest part. Hold the ball higher to get it to fly lower. Ooh, Lovely nice shot. shot. I'm sorry, but a depth kind of carrying over there. And then a huge shot out of Fusli as well. Yep, still behind a little bit though. Come on, Anthony. Button being pressed, I believe, on the other side. So this is just Fusli and Anthony trying to finish here. <laughs> the frustration beginning to set in. It's just one last block they need to hit. It's in the corner. Yeah. Tragic as it is. This is where composure is important. They, remember, you still need to record a time. Nice. There it is. Hey. Nicely done. They're not just competing against the other team, but everybody else attempting that not challenge. That. So getting mm -hmm. it done is important. Slap it. So hard. And they've nailed it down. We'll see what their time is here in a second as they go back to talk into their streams. Again, everybody live on their own channels here. And as our 16 duos make their way through our four main challenges, we've also got a fifth challenge that all 32 participants will be trying today. If there are any ties in the overall standings at the end of day one, they will be decided by ultimate challenge bonus points earned in our Capital One vault. Capital One is the official bank and credit card of Twitch Rivals, and both members of each duo We'll have 30 seconds inside the machine to grab as many points as possible, and we'll combine their points to determine their tiebreaker score. These bonus points will come into play if there is a tie at the end of the day, so they aren't added to the overall score, but duos will want to combine for a high score in case of a tie. Um, also, in this, for this next round, Capital One will drop five subs for every 10 points grabbed to the creator's channel, so let's send it over to Veli to see who's up next in the Capital One vault. Right now, we got a dog dog over here from Team Halfu. And um, right now, number one, I was checking out the numbers. Cypher is in first place with 545 now. The strategy is unknown yet. It's just trying to grab it on its way up. You cannot pick it up off your body. Right now, dog dog, he's getting all that bread right now. Look at all that paper, Wave Punk. That's Ooh. so much. Oh, there's, a, there's a 50 right there. Yeah, but he doesn't have it in his hand. He, needs, he doesn't realize it's there, and it slipped down his leg. Oh, dear. It's so overwhelming in a way. Remember, 500 points, 50 gifted. Yeah, oh. that, that's so many. Yeah. 50 gifted on the line right now. Come on. This is a decent oh, one. He's got a 50, though. I see Look it. at that. Look at that. Well done. Did you see the strategy he did? He kind of re he put his hand out, fanned out his fingers, and tried to, tried to create like a surface area, and then would kind of like hover over it as he could grab Tell it. Tell you, we licked his hand beforehand, 100%. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. Well, while we count the bonus oh, points, let's give another shout out to Capital One, the official bank and credit card of Twitch Rivals. With early paycheck, you can get your direct deposit up to two days earlier. And with no fees and minimums on checking and savings accounts, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision. Terms apply, see CapitalOne.com slash bank, Capital One NA, member FDIC. All right, Dog secured himself quite a few subs for his community we'll let them count that up and find out what that number is exactly but the round three is coming close to an end here and it's worth bearing in mind just quickly on the capital one vault there that those points only come into effect if there's a tiebreaker but sure. the subs are still awarded so it's a great chance right. of course for creators to jump in there and pump those numbers up a little bit more now one thing i do want to point out is with uh the lulu lovely hannah rose blockbuster redo mm -hmm. they're gonna be one of the only teams that's gotten a full run through of of blockbuster Ooh. and now get to go at it a second time so there's actually a really solid chance on that redo that they put themselves on top. But we see how many times people get the puzzle done and then they struggle with the slingshot. That's there true. is the chance that they get unlucky and maybe get stuck with like a corner block or something that they can't knock down. I, and, and, and I will say that they had a good handle on how to use that slingshot already, though. They were using the the old tried and tested double hand tactic, right? Where yeah. they never hand in front, they, you know, they were making sure the ball stayed in there. So. I expect to see, uh, I mean, it has to be a really good time. They have a chance to obviously take sort of first place. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, hey, even the time on the slingshot is going to be a difference maker. So we'll see them go. Right now I can see uh, see Myth and Timmy here in the back doing the oh, nice uh, sticky wall. Look at them go. He is, he is lining them up. I mean, Timmy is just, it's actually insane. He, he's This guy is natural born. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Not 11, the bad 12, 13, kind 14, of throws. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21 balls. This will be 63 right. points if he's able to get above the line. Coach Myth, let's see your hops. No pressure, Myth. But this will be the top score of the day. Needs to stick. Six. It's good. Five, he has it. Hey! I think that I think that's above 60. I think that might be the record. That's yeah. going to be the best score we've seen so far. But look at the accuracy Timmy was able to get. Look how many uh, our Myth scores. 69. Nice. Oh, nice. nice. There's no way. There's no way they actually scored 69. Necra, can can you please inform them of their score? I, this is incredible. All right, it looks like right now, Timmy Myth, are you guys ready to hear what your score was? Yeah. 69 points. Let's we go. We did it, chat. We did it. 
for you, the number. The number. We did it. The number. Let's you go. The number. Yeah, honestly, it was just too good. Uh, I, I, I had a feeling. I had like, I was getting a good shots in. Yeah. So honestly, I'm fucking. He, he got it all. He got uh, it all. Timmy, you got the aim. Yeah. Myth, you've got the strat. What was going on up there? So I wanted Timmy. I was getting Timmy's first shot in. Once I knew he was good, I knew he was gonna, where he was gonna throw the balls. So I decided to load up my arms first and then load up my torso later into the half. And that's the plan, that's what I did, that's what we did together. And we fucking went, come here, baby. Come here. I love it. I love the partnership happening over here. That is the record right now. You guys have done a phenomenal <laughs> job all day. You've got one more challenge. How, how are you going to close it out the day? Uh, We're going to win it. We're going to win that too. We're going to come out first place. Easily. Easily. <laughs> all right, Timmy Myth, go ahead and celebrate your victory for now. We'll also let you get out of the, the suit. I feel like that is an important part. We're going to go ahead and head right over to Blockbuster. And let's go see what's happening over there. Now, this is the redo between Lulu Lovely and Hannah Rose's squads. See if they can set the best times and break the record. All of the blocks turn over to start with, so you have to reveal them mm -hmm. before you can really move them over. We saw Tyler one just uh, previously just walking out with handfuls of the blocks. He's trying oh, yep. to get the uh, Necra. strategy. Necra, can you ask the admin for what the current record is on Blockbuster? Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and find that admin and let's find out what is the current record on Blockbuster right now. Uh, the current record is held by Team Nick A30 for 3 minutes, 54 seconds, 74 oh. milliseconds. Yeah. Okay. Those guys are actually cracked. So that yeah. is that is what both of these squads are looking to break here to get that ultimate 16 points on Blockbuster. So they are ready. So the admin is staging them. You know, honestly, I feel like it's possible with either of these duos because taking the previous experience into consideration, like you were saying, Wavepunk, it might be doable. It's going to come down to their slingshot. It will come down to the slingshot. I mean, it, it, you could, you could oh in theory, God, with literally. one shot, exactly. take out the whole target. And so Make it very clear, we have multiple different cards. So yes. this is going to be a completely new illustration for both of our teams to try and uh, assemble. Okay, this is a, so far, they're trying to get them turned over and face up. Should we, are we going to be calling it a strike if they do get all of them down in one shot? I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, that vernacular we'll strike. Right. We can that, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so Ava and uh, Lulu were able to get uh, a couple handfuls over pretty early on here, and already we're starting to get a picture materializing. But again, these are difficult. Tyler, 195 IQ, still had trouble with it. They, they, I think they got it like halfway done and then realized they had a picture upside down and had to flip something over. And yeah, like, like you said, because of the new picture here, Glitter, despite their early, uh, early attempts to do this, they'll have an advantage of understanding how the game works, but still it's a brand new puzzle. Both squads are getting solid starts on the top left corners or what they Why? think is the top left corner, right? Okay, and they have a good pace at least right now, but there it does get a little tricky when things get reversed in the box. Yeah, credit to them, they're not trying to put anything up on the stand yet. They're right. actually, yeah, they have the discipline to wait till they've erected the entire picture before they try and set it up here. And it looks like, yeah, Ava and Lulu are, they're oh, on the close. cusp of something here. Oh, they're so close. No, oh, oh, no. Okay. No. no. A couple of permutations of this, and I think they'll get there. They're very close, and that piece is going to make a big difference. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's nailed it. That's it. Get They're it up. Ahead right get now. it up. They've got a Look at that. She's grabbed like six pieces at once. Okay. So oh, that's what you wanted, you. Caleb. That was what you wanted. You <laughs> wanted the whole bottom all at once, though. Wait, wait, wait. Would you, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Lulu's got the two. She's holding and waiting for Ava to get the sneak in. And then they're going to be able to finish off this top corner real easy. This is a considerable lead and also a blazing fast time. See, I almost feel like at this point, they're not even necessarily competing against each other. They're competing against that top time. That's all they're competing against. That's all they care about is the top time, right? I thought you were going to give me something like compete against themselves. I'm like, well, I guess. Hey, look at this. Okay, no hand. <laughs> Where does the shot go? That sounded oh, good. That sounded oh, good. My. Bottom left. Look at that accuracy. Not easy to do, especially when you're... Uh, Come on, Ava. They're going for power here. Come on. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. okay. Don't worry about that one. Didn't happen. And it can backfire in that same way, right? You really need to make sure that the ball gets clear of the slingshot. Mm -hmm. It's all falling apart. Okay, your opponents haven't even finished building it. And, oh! Ooh. She was ready for Gotta the hold it in. Two It's hands the slingshot, I'm in. telling you. And, I... Oh! Oh! Let's go! Oh! What? Oh! No way! 
I can see the okay. timer for here, but I don't want to confirm it until it's happened. Necra, that what was you insane. Got? We've got to talk right now because holy cow, was that a blazing fast time, Ava? How does it feel? Amazing. I, I'm, I, I don't even know what she just did. She just turned something on. The pizza. It was the pizza. It was the pizza. It was the pizza. I had some pizza. I feel myself. So. <laughs> it's yeah. that Pizza Hut pizza, right? Yeah. You just gotta make sure it feels you. And the Dunkin' Donuts over there. Very good too. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Delicious. That is awesome. We are confirming your time right now, but it looks like you guys just absolutely crushed it, especially after that first attempt, right? I mean, you got a redo. Yeah, that, that was nice because like it really just like was unfair to both of us that kind of mixed up puzzle piece, but I'm glad they let us redo it and get a good chance, a fair chance too. So yeah, that was great. Well, let's go ahead and see if we are gonna get your time in. We are waiting the for the time to come in right now. Admin is showing us the board. Let's go ahead and see it. Two minutes, 45 seconds, oh 49 seconds. That is the record God. right now. Let's go. We also actually just got the top record for the scooter one, too. So, so what? excuse me? Yeah, there's only Eight like seconds. four teams left to try to do that and beat us, but we have top score there, top score here. Okay, so you absolutely just shot up in the standings right now. Yeah. So that gives you a great shot at being able to pick your duo for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm super excited. We're definitely not picking Timmy and Myth. No. <laughs> We're not. Wait, no, why? 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 Because they're just good at every. Especially so Timmy is good at everything he plays, and Myth is an excellent gamer too, so we don't want to go against them. So. We're gonna pick one of the IRL shooters. Ooh, okay. I, I like the confidence there. <laughs> All right, well, best of luck with the rest of the day. I mean, you guys are absolutely crushing it, but we're gonna go ahead and throw right back to Caleb and 